back to another video, video fishing style. You see, we got the fishing shirts on. Today, we can't go fishing because it's pretty rainy and I don't want to go out there and get poured on. So, yeah. So, we're going to do a bait review and bait and all that. With my tackle box, I'm going to have rods over here. My two rods I have with me. I have another two at my granddad's house. I'm, I'll do a review on those when I get them back. I'll, he's currently in, on vacation, so I don't want to go over to his house and all that. So, here is my tackle box. Ooh, this thing's heavy. It is a Plano. You already know, got the MTB sticker right there. This is a nice tackle box, three deck. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start off by opening up this. Sorry about that. My phone fell. We had a lot of technical difficulties. I know. That was edited out, obviously. So yeah, here's the tackle box. Right now, it's nothing special. So I guess we're going to start off with the tackle. So here we have... So here's my multi-tool. I'm getting a new one. It literally has duct tape on it because it the stuff comes out. What do I have duct tape? <laughs> what brand is this? It lasted for a while though. So this is a Sheffield, I'm guessing. I'm trying to treat it like Yeah. Oh. Alright. All right. So now we got a little minnow. <laughs> trout bait i i go trout fishing yeah. up and me and him won't be going together but uh, in a little bit i'll have a trout video on in like possibly june possibly this month because usually we go then, up to dale hollow we might have some cra uh, crappy fishing too uh this uh, tell them the brands and all that i'm not exactly sure what brand that bait was i don't know i found it on the ground at one of the camping sites and i was like hey this will work for trout so yeah and i know in yesterday's video we didn't catch anything but you know sorry so now we got a um and this time my phone won't die so we have this little ozark trail to be surprised little bait it's a really good bait i've caught some so much stuff with this very nice. So set. Oh, now, so where's the? Where'd you put the minnow things? I can't even tell you. Put them over here. Put them on the. Corner. Now, here, show this one. You show. Them. All right. Now we have this one. What brand? Uh, what is it? I don't know what it is. This is a Yozuri, uh, freshwater. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have so I have some saltwater stuff in here, but they also work for freshwater. It's a pink and like white and silver type color. Crankbait. It's a very nice. It's a crankbait, very big one. Very good bait. Caught stuff on that too. Next bait we have is another one. Pretty much looks just like that, but yeah. it's red, and it's Yozuri saltwater. A little smaller. A little smaller, and this is saltwater. So now that one. we have this one. That's my, I love that bait. It's a, um, Sawyer Sport. Cordal. I have line everywhere. Something like that. But I don't, I can't tell what brand it is what it has it, but it's like a good little, Let me see. I can't I'm really pretty it. sure I can see the brands. Super Sport or something like that. Yeah, then we have know. this, I'm, it has line on it and I really don't, I can pull it out of there. Pretty sure I got this one from MTB. It's a really good crankbait. It is very nice. It has like a greenish color on the bottom. It is, the brand is Digger. It's, yeah. It's a deep diving, something like goes to 10 and a half feet. Very nice bait. So now we have this another crankbait that it don't say the, the name on it. But it's like a oh yeah that one I've used, I've never caught something with that. It's, it looks like a good one. That's more like a swampy area. Yeah, you use this in like a swampy area. It ain't bad, but that's only the best. But it's not a bad bait. I've never caught anything with it. So yeah, I got that. Uh, I'll get this. I'll get this one. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use this one next. I'm gonna use this next time. So we have this little tiger print kind of one. It represents a fish. Bait fish, I'm guessing. It's uh, also made by Ozark Trail. Hey, they don't have bad baits. This one is a really good bait. I've caught like two, three, four fish on this. It's a very good bait. 
going to show you how. Now we have like a, um, that's all good, girl. Now I like a little, um, orange and black one. Red and black. Oh, that's, it looks orange, orange and black, red or black, whatever. What would you say? This is a, oh, I can't tell another of. Ozark trail, trail from Walmart. Uh, it's like a little tiger print looking thing, kind of. This was a dollar ninety-seven. same with the tiger print one. Like I said, very good baits. Uh. You go ahead and do that. Yeah. Now we have another crankbait. Yozuri, I guarantee it. Let me see the brand. Yep, got another Yozuri. This is a 30B freshwater. So it is a blue and like silver color with red eyes. It's a very nice bait. All right, so. And then. Don't know all the that. Yeah. We have a whole bunch of hooks here. We don't really, I don't really use these. I use these for crappy, uh, trout. I use stuff like that. I don't, that's all the reason I use Okay, now we have my Gerber pocket knife to cut line, do stuff like that, just in case we need it. Because my pliers aren't the best at that. He struggles with it. All right, so here we have a little swampy little frog. Like for I'm not sure if this one was the one that I got from MTB or if it was one of those. I'm not exactly sure. So here we have a little topwater frog that he tied on the other day. Didn't really do it, the it, best. I, I would use that. We need to go to a pond that has like pads and all that. Yeah, we need to go to a swamp type yeah. thing, pond with lily pads. Get a couple things with a topwater frog. Good bait. I'm not exactly sure what brand it is. I bought it for like 20 bucks, so it's a very expensive one. So yeah. Now we have another crankbait. <laughs> this whole thing's full of crankbaits. Yeah, I have so many crankbaits. And all my worms are at the bottom. It's a, um, it's probably an Ozark, but I can't see it. Let me see. I, it don't say Ozark in the one. No, it's not Ozark. I know, it's not Ozark. We don't know which brand this one is, but it's a not very nice one. Now, this is a very one. big. This is a rainbow trout, kind of, the way it looks. Mm -hmm. I think this one, I, this is the one I got from MTB. This uh, is the one I got from MTB. Now, I have another crankbait again. So, hold on. I didn't get this one from MTB. I got this one some other place. This is the one I got from Mystery Tackle Box. It's a very nice one. It don't have a brand on it, but it's very nice. I've yet to use it. I'm going to use this next time. It's another crankbait. It's like um rainbow trout, I guess. Right? It looks kind of like a rainbow trout, kind of. Well, a bluegill with the scales. Yeah. It looks like a bluegill in, in there. Kind of scalish. The scales. It's a very nice bait. And then, another, another crankbait. Pretty mm. small one. We're going to have... There's going to be... Eight more crankbaits. <laughs> Now we have another crankbait. It's actually really small, but the little... Oh, I also have a... No, we... Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Is that not... Yeah. All right. We have another crankbait. <laughs> Who knew? This is a Yozuri fre or Freshwater. It kind of... It looks like kind of like a shad. Kind of not. It's pink on top. Like silver-ish, bluish on the side with black eyes. Very nice, very nice bait. There's what it looks like up close. If you want to see it, it's Yozuri. Now we have a real small crankbait, like an extra small. What brand? Oh, yeah, I've used up a Yozart, Yozart. Yozuri? Yeah. It's another Yozuri. I've caught like 10 fish on this, maybe not, but caught quite a bit of fish with this one. It's a really good one. If you're wondering when I'm putting the baits down, I have a cardboard thing here that all the baits are on so they don't get in the carpet. Is there something Got it up. No, I was just stuck on the back. Right. Now we got like a little red Another crankbait. I guarantee it's Yozuri. Yeah, it is. And then we have like a little red, see orange. See through little reddish, orange crankbait. Pretty nice. I'm going to use this. You're going to have to use everything that's on those. He has his own tackle box, which he doesn't have with him right now because he's at my house. No, nah, no, I didn't give anything All right, so we got another see through one. Kind of rattles. It has a ball in there. It is made by. It's flat CBDR. I don't know. Now, here's a, um... I haven't done that bin yet. Uh, here's what it looks like up close. It's kind of like a yellowish clear kind of good bait. don't think I've ever used it. Now, I have another crankbait. That's that was um, a good one. That this one looks good. pretty good. It's a real good one. How do you see how much damage it has on it from fish? You can tell he's used it before. It has bass marks on it. Show it to him. Oh, you want me to? How about it? You got little bass marks on it right there. And stuff. Yellow, orange, and kind of like a greenish type On color. the top, that's just for like scrapes when you drop it or something. But the bottom is teeth marks when you see it. Okay. I can't see it. Yeah. Here we have, I'm going to guess, 
I don't know what brand this is, but it's like a brownish or uh, brownish black. It's not the best one. I've never really used it. Now we have another crankbait. Our it's, last crankbait. It's a like orange dot. No, with we it. still have one more. Up there on the rod. A blue with like a. It looks just like a minnow. No. I can't. It's kind of like a shad bait fish. Kind of. Let me show the line first. We have one more crankbait. Let me. Uh, we'll show that last. Uh, so I've yet to use this. We have some trilene, 10 pound test, 300 yards. So you know. Uh, good knot that I tie. I tie the knot, the trilene knot on the back right there. Learn how to tie that. You'll catch fish. It's a good knot. We'll set that. It won't here. break when you catch a fish. Yeah, it won't break when you catch a fish. <laughs> Not as you catch a fish. Then we'll we catch some... a tree. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we have a bag of white worms. These are they like clearish crystal looking worms. Uh, like white. Didn't you throw one the other day? Yeah, you and it broke off. I didn't tie the knot. And I mean, See, you didn't tie the trilene knot. And I mean, it's a. I like using this like murky water. We have a KVD Perfect Plastics with coffee scent and salt. I'm gonna smell it inside. Let me smell it. It don't smell good. Mm. It smells like water. It's a nice one. It smells like. Yeah. Yes, we are smelling our baits because I want to see if this one actually it smells, smells good. Eh, it don't smell. It don't not smell like coffee, but you know. Yeah, it smells kind of like classic coffee. All the baits go up here. So this is that super zoom. salt. We've done the zoom. So we have a. What is this? <laughs> so we have a super salt baits. It's um. I, do y'all think that we should go um try to go like when we get more subscribers try to go to a um like an ocean saltfish salt? Oh yeah, I, I, we're 100 doing that. I'm doing it. I'm gonna be doing it. I don't know if he's gonna be able to come with me, but I'm gonna be ocean fishing. Well, if I ever go to the beach, July. I'll bring my my deep sea pole. So we got like a little like saltwater fish things. I don't know a lot about saltwater. Here we have two trick worms. There's a pack, but they're Zoom trick worms, watermelon seeds with garlic scent on them. So yeah. Uh, here we have some. Some stuff is from MTV a lot. A lot of it is. We oh, have we got more worms. Havoc, 15 CT juice worm, uh, boy ducket design. They're really good. I don't know if you can see that yet. Yeah, I hear some more trick worms. Same thing. So Here. now we have a ten inch um, smash tube. A uh, yeah, smash tube. It is a smash tube. Like a zoom. I don't know how to pronounce that. It has a whole bunch of salt <laughs> stuff on it. It's a salt water -like thing, I guess. Most likely. Yeah, it's an octopus. It's an octopus. Yeah. Yeah, octopus. So yeah. Salt water. Yeah, Here we have. We get all the sand from the ocean. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy crap. I, that's imagine you with your hands. Don't. That's not Put that good. Back in the bag. This is some Throw it over there. He's got salt, salt all over me. Okay. Uh, here we have some pumpkin and chartreuse, chartreuse lizards. There's six in here. I've yet to use them. I've used another pack. They're great. So now we have a. Um, Can I set over first? Yeah. Is, yeah. I have no idea what these are. <laughs> Can you tell me in the comments if you know okay, these open, are? Open them up. My friend them. Brody used them one time. He's actually subscribed to this channel. I don't smell good. <laughs> yeah, tell me what they are, please. Okay, now we have a... A lizard, a new, a new lizard. It's like a murky looking with the lime green tail. I've used one of these before. I've got some bites on it. I've never caught a fish on one. It looks like like a dark watermelon with chartreuse, but I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I've never, I've used it. I've got bites. I never just caught a fish on it. Oh, here's another salt one, I think. Yeah. Here we have, no. It's no, no, pumpkin no. seed worms. I need to dye these, but they have the little thing on it there. How would the heck you pronounce that? I'm not good at that spelling and all that. Yeah. I don't want to use them. Here Can we I have some six june bug lizards they're bluish super salt they're salt water i got these i've gotten bites on them in fresh water they're really good so i have a is it it's like a bass crasher it's called a bass crasher there's only one 
Yeah, there's only one. And the target species for this bait. Th this we got one. bass, saltwater, salt water, trout, trout, crappie, walleye. Wow. Well, I, I can't say that. So, yeah, so we have a little like. I'm gonna go ahead and say one thing. Middle. All of these baits are probably not gonna be linked in the description because that would take a while. We have, I have so many worms, worms and bait and crankbaits in general. This is, this is another saltwater. But the rods and reels, and MTB, MTB and Gerber, LTB and LTB and Fishbrain. If you want to download that, all that stuff. Like, okay, Gerber. Maybe not hit the crankbait. Gerber, try. No, we're not going to try lean. Or should we? I don't know. I'll decide. Gerber, uh, the rods and reels. Let's so uh, that. Uh, we'll do LTB and MTB, and we'll link Fish Brain. So well, there will be five links to go download and get stuff oh. if you're interested. So now we have a bass assassinator. Assassin. It's like a little bass assassin. Blue. I thought it was salt water at first because the color. But apparently it's not. So like you have a blue. Oh, there's also salt water bass. Oh. Yeah, there's salt water bass. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Salt there's water. salt water bass. I don't do salt water. Yeah, there's sea bass, black bass. Hold on. Yeah, I have to look it up. So yeah. Right. So here we can put <sighs> a picture one. of it. A picture of one in the video. Yeah, there'll be a picture on the screen now. Want yeah, some like a bluish, clearish white thing with black dots, probably for salt water. Most likely. Uh, oh, I love these worms. I'm gonna go to these because I've never used them, but better than salt, small zoom tube fire tigger. Tiger, not tigger. I'm stupid. Don't quote me on this. I think they might do good in murky water. But it's uh, kind of clearish. They're a dark color with a very bright tip. The, I feel like they would be good. I need I, a booster stuff. That's a June bug. Oh, a June bug. Pretty sure. I'm not sure. I, I can't. Not exactly sure. Probably look at the little thing in the back. It's a rage crawl. A rage. It's a crawfish. Crawfish, yeah. Oh! Crawfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like this. Red color. Throw it right in the front. Another one of these uh, zoom tube wide ice type things. The same those. Now so, I have a by zoom. By the way, I'm pretty sure you can get most of these baits at Walmart, and the saltwater ones you could probably get on Amazon. So this is a um maybe freshwater not, maybe um, Walmart. I don't, I don't know. This is a freshwater um series. It's like a that's what type thing it is. It's not uh I don't, I don't know. I think it's like a um I think it looks like a um what are them things called? It looks like this. This I'm not exactly sure what you call it. I don't when do you have to say this in the comments? I don't know what this is. It's like a little looking it's definitely I don't know. It looks like kinda of like a I don't know. But it's I'm going to say it probably would not be a decent bait in the freshwater, but it might be. I would say salt. Oh, yeah, we got some more trick worms. <laughs> I use those things like crazy. Here we have water bait. Here we have power bait. Fish bite. Ugh, these things stank. Let me tell you that. Let me smell Blue flint. Sky, sorry, Skyler, you're going to be. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. They smell like salmon, egg, sal salmon eggs. <laughs> I don't want to fish with those ever. <laughs> they catch stuff. Scarlet's room going to stink. Yeah, Here's a like little. Oh. What, what's up with you and these little weird animals? I don't know. I got half of these from it's my a, grandfather. So. Older school. It's a reaction and bite juice. juice. It's a bite okay, juice. Okay, I'm not going to show you what that part says, but it's a shad. Uh, what does it say? Sexy <laughs> shad. Good shut up! Oh yeah, who cares? It says se it's a sexy shad, is what it says. Really good, I'm guessing. So we have. I bet these. What is up with you? The same exact animals. It's the same thing that I've been showing. Like I said, my grandfather gave me some of these. Most of them actually. Oh, hey, the nature farm. We have so many baits here. Uh, we we tried to organize it, but we've just been throwing the worms and all that. I mean, the game we organized. We have super salt plus pumpkin. Double ringers right here. Now we have like a 
I don't know how long this is. These are three. These are four dollars. This whole batch. I don't know. Three twenty-nine. Well, you know that was also back when. That was also a, a long, probably a long time ago. I've had some of these baits. It's a. It's a. For a while. It's a worm. I know it's a worm thing. Mm -hmm. Plastic worms. It's one of these. I'm just trying to organize, kind of. Okay. Okay. All right, so I have two more things here, and then no, we got the top shelf. You need top shelf. The top. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm saying two more plastics. Okay, we have two more plastics here. This is a wobblehead. Really good mm -hmm. wobblehead lure. Uh, we have a. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Was that sucked? He just hooked himself. All right, so first thing. I got it out. It's a bob. Didn't go past barb. I we have that thing, the weird thing. I don't, I don't know. know what the heck Brody was using. <laughs> Brody, if you see this, what is it? Okay, we have eagle claw barrel swivels. I use those for trick worms. Uh, actually, I'm going to put these in different spots because these go up top. We have some more eagle claw things. We have, we have a lot of gamakatsu hooks. They're the best hook brand out there. That pack we got good. eagle claw things. But I have a brand new set. Baits, I think. We have a lot of more hooks up here. We have crappy, crappy baits right here for the fish. Right here, some good ones. I've caught several crappy on that. We have trout spinners right here, and that's pretty much it for the top. And we have the these gamakatsu. little. Okay, I'm gonna say something. Put we the gamakatsus and the swivels over here. Okay. I'm not gonna, let me put this back in. So this is a good hook right here. Gamakatsu, very sharp. I like these hooks. That's good for catfishing. It's good for bass. No, fishing catfish too. is Texas rigs. Carolina rigs. It don't matter. It don't matter. Hey, should we do a catfishing video too? I'm down. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and. Uh, here's one of my trick worms. I didn't do it right. I don't put a swivel on it, but it still worked. Just poked your phone in. So, here is my bait caster. It is a Bass Pro Extreme. Well, here it is the bait caster. It's a Bass Pro Extreme. No bird's nest. So, we're good. It is Bass Pro Extreme. Uh, seven bearings. Six foot six, one? Six foot six. Oh. Ducket fishing rod. We have a ducket ghost on here. Rod, as you see. Oh. <laughs> now you can see that. I think. Yeah. Ducket. Okay, now. But it's ducket ghost. It's a six foot six medium heavy rod. Now, and then, like, you can see where it's a whole bat. Ba I think it, the Bass Pro thing. If y'all can see it. I use this all the time. And he uses... When, when I don't have my rods. And he uses... We, we take turns with it. Even even when you had your rods, you used it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good bait caster. So here we have... Uh, I need to redo the line on it because I cut it. Here we have a... HS Hypersonic Lose Reel Spin Cast Speed Spin. HS300. Or it's either HS300 or H5300. Right there, I don't know if you can exactly see that. It's a nice rod, I like the color of it. It's lime green, it has a six foot seven medium heavy rod. I am six, obviously. HS1 hypersonic speed stick, it's a very good one. I love this thing, I got it for $40 at Academy Sports. Link in the description, like I said, rods. And all you, that you want me to go get the deep sea fishing ones? No. I, I also have a DC one. It's on the screen right now. I'll put a picture of it right here or somewhere. I'll put it probably right there. At the end of the video, me and him, we got the hook, hook fishing shirts on. We're also going to have these links. I'm not sure if I can find that one anymore because I got that one a long time ago. This one I got recently. There's a little fish on the back. I would show you. I'll show you later when we're fishing. Oh, sh sh so I got a question for y'all. Oh, should we, do y'all want us to do like, I know I already said this, y'all want us to catfish, garfish, and... In the winter, <laughs> you want to go? I don't know. Get, get cold enough here for ice, ice. No, don't. So we we ain't doing ice fishing. We can't do ice fishing unless we traveled, which I could travel. I can. I just blocked the camera. So yeah, thank you for watching and see ya. Put your hand on the screen.